Hi, my name is Jongwon Chung, and I'm a professor at Yonsei University. I'm the organizing chair of the third IEEE International Conference on Consumer Electronics Asia, which is being held right now in Jeju Island for 2018. I have the wonderful pleasure to be serving as an interviewer of the president of the IEEE Consumer Electronics Society, Dr. Sharon Peng. And wonderful pleasure to have you here Thank and you. a great honor as well. I was hoping that you could please introduce yourself to our audience. Thank you. <coughs> My name is Sharon Pan. Um, I work for Harman International, which is part of Samsung company. Um, I've been volunteer uh, for IEEE for the last 20 years. Uh, right now, I'm the uh, president of the IEEE Consumer Electronics Society. Thank you. Thank you. I was hoping that you could introduce the IEEE Consumer Electronics Society. It is so famous, but yet there may be some young students that would get interested due to this introduction. Could Thank you please? You. Yes. yes. IEEE Consumer Electronics Society is one of the 42 society and councils of IEEE worldwide. IEEE worldwide has more than 426,000 members. Uh, we are one of the societies within, uh, you know, uh, all the 42 society and councils. We have about 3,000 members worldwide. Uh, we're not very big, but we are very active in our community for consumer technology and uh, electronics development. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. What are the features of this year's IEEE Consumer Electronics Society. Since you're the president, I think that there would be some special things that you would want to do this year and also help plan for the future of the society. Could you please share that with us? Yes, thank you. Um, Consumer Electronics Society, um, it has a history of more than 30 years. Um, from membership point of view, we were very, very uh, active and pretty big about 10 years ago, but due to the overall uh, worldwide industry atmosphere change, uh, a lot of consumer electronics companies uh, uh, shifted their focus from North America and Europe to Asia. Uh, we had some membership loss because of the change, but uh, we are trying very hard to work on our membership development in the Asia Pacific areas. Uh, in the last uh, five, 10 years, we've been uh, developing conferences in the Asia area. Uh, Japan, Korea has been the leading countries uh, doing uh, the member activities and developing conferences and publications. Uh, those are our focuses and also the educational program because of the new changes and on the new technology development. A lot of new topics coming into consumer electronics. Uh, previously, you know, consumer electronics pretty much was uh, electronics based, but nowadays actually becoming more and more software driven, user experience driven, and also technology, uh, new technology driven uh, you know, uh, consumer technology uh, field rather than you say a specific electronics. And also the consumer electronics itself, itself um, um, shifting be, uh, from like a big giant equipment like a HDTV yeah. to a much smaller portable uh, smartphone oriented activities. Yeah. So a lot of technologies like uh, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, and uh, even augmented reality or uh, virtual reality kind of technology coming into the finger points, coming into our day-to-day -day usage in our electronics. So all these technologies we are interested, especially their applications to our consumers' day-to-day -day, day -day life. And uh, the focus, is being also uh, by doing entertainment alone, going to your healthcare, your um, daily activity tracking, those related things. So consumer electronics uh, uh, society facing a challenge that we are not 
seems like we are focusing on many things or we don't have a focus anymore to some extent. Yeah. So last year, in the last 14 months actually, we worked with um, uh, MIT uh, Sloan Management School uh, to see how can we refocus, how can we serve our membership better and how can we make our uh, mem uh, community more aware what we are doing and participating. So they provided very good input to us, including um, uh, raise the membership awareness by refocusing our technical leadership in certain field and also uh, demographic issues. Yeah. How can we uh, improve membership development, educational program in Asia uh, and attracting more young members and also minority members into our community and make the society better. Yeah. And a sequence of uh, programs we are actually putting into action to improve our near-term, mid-term and long-term uh, activities in the society. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Just listening to this, it is evident why the IEEE Consumer Electronic Society will grow and massively grow in the future. This leadership and the comments and the plans, your mid-term and long-term plans, yeah. as well as what you currently plan to do this year, yeah. is uh, truly amazing and uh, very exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this year is the third year in its row of a sequence of conferences of the ICCE Asia 2018 series. So that means that it started uh, two terms earlier uh, and then this is the third term for this conference. Uh, so as it is entering its third term, uh, the spin-off of the original ICCE conference was getting so popular that you divided it into regional uh, places that could be successful and the ICC Asia was one of them. I was wondering what would be the overall plan that you have for this conference and how you want to see it evolve and improve? Um, that's a very good question. Um, ICCE is being one of our, uh, it's our flagship conference every year held in January in Las Vegas together with the Consumer Electronics Show hosted by the CTA. So we always co-sided uh, the way we were doing that is trying to attract more participants to our conferences. You know, a lot of engineers from Asia flying all the way to Las Vegas. After the, after the uh, CES show, it is important for them to participate to the ICCE because my experience, the ICCE is an engineering conference. It always gives a good prediction for what's coming next year and the year after next year. Mm -hmm. uh, we include all the important topics, which is um, like uh, near the end of technology development, but it's coming to the end consumer level products. So it's always important to have a technical conference uh, to be co-sided with the yeah. CES show. Uh, coming uh, to the ICCE Asia, we realize Asia is such an important uh, big engineering base in uh, consumer engineering. Um, we had uh, several conferences developed in different regions. After se several years of trial, we realized having an ICC Asia rotating in multiple countries in Asia, especially important, like we collaborate with IEIEK, which is the top engineering leadership in Korea in the consumer technology, and go every other year coming to Korea uh, it's really important for Asia engineers come together yes. to Korea to learn what's going on in the Korea um, engineering side and also to share the worldwide uh, consumer technology here. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, um, this is the second year in Korea. It's been successful and we are growing. And we want to see more collaborations not only in the paper submission, but also we want to see a broader uh, collaboration which we will work with IEIK leadership. Um, you know, the exhibition side, uh, technology workshop, 
and also some maybe some of the tutorials we can include more um, front-end technology and uh, to our participants and to our members here yes yeah. yes thank you very much you're yes. welcome uh, there are a lot of attendees here mm -hmm. um, when we count the number of registrations there are hundreds of people that are participating papers here and are experts in their field in addition, they brought their family members, including mm -hmm. their children, which sure. is exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and because of this, there's a, a good future that we see. And due to that, I was wondering, is there anything that you would like to especially leave as your comment toward the attendees of this conference, what you would like to have them to remember, or what you would like to uh, have them to foresee into the future so that they'll continue to come to our conferences? Sure. Um, yeah. I'm very excited to see so many participants and different varieties and from all different cultural backgrounds coming to Korea for this conference. You know, working together with IEIEK, IEIEK always support and provide the best they can, um, you know, culture-wise, engineering-wise, and, you know, uh, for the conference-wise, everything is, like, everybody feel renewed, not only in what your professional is, but also culture-wise, and also looking at the future. Some people bring their family here, bring their young children here to learn, you know, the professional development, how we are doing, how we are sharing. It's very important. And I think one of the IEEE mission uh, we need to do is we, we eventually gonna ha help the um, humanitarian side uh, yeah. to develop and uh, develop our community. So our children is our future and some of them are already in college. Our society, we want to also not only educate whatever our current yeah. member is, but also looking at the future, the underserved communities, the women in engineering, the young professional development, and the future young professional development, including uh, some of the high school girls, you know, encourage them to go to engineering, yeah. and college students encourage them to submit, uh, submit papers to our conference. Yes. All of those are important, develop as an overall community and also for our conference future yeah. and our leadership future. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. I've had the wonderful privilege to interview the president of the IEEE Consumer Electronics Society, Sharon Peng, and it was a wonderful experience, very educating, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.